Hello Aquarius, it's time for your mid-February to March reading of this current year, which is 2019. I almost remembered it, I almost said 18 months, but I stopped myself. How are y'all doing? I am still open for personal readings. My email is in the description below, just hit me up there. I also have my PayPal down there if you want to make a donation. I don't charge for my readings, but I do like tips. Yes. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, if this resonates with you, good for you. If not, stick around for the next one, and maybe I will. This is going to be a Thunderdome, so there's going to be two readings in this. Group 1, Group 2. Aquarius, you pick which one you are going to be. And then we will move on from there. Group 1. Ready? Fight. Temperance Reverse. Some of y'all are just out of fuck page. Seven of Swords, Four of Swords, The Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Wands, Prince of Pentacles Reverse, and the beginning theme, King of Cups Reverse. Someone only gives a shit about themselves. They're not in their feelings for anybody else. Your solar plex is connected only to their cup and their cup alone, and that is the one that is important because then they don't have to deal with everybody else's crap, right? See what the cards have for you, huh? So, we got Temperance Reversed. Sagittarius's card. You could be dealing with an angry one. There's no coming together. There's no communication. Might even be a little bit of cult mentality. Mind you. Um, there's definitely someone not wanting to communicate here. Or two people just not wanting to communicate to come together. Actually, they're ready to walk away, group one. Someone could be ready to walk away. We got the Wheel of Fortune down here, Orion, and the saying that's also Sagittarian energy, like moving forward. The wheel is moving ahead. Fate is giving it a go, and they are going in whatever direction the wheel goes. Is it a cliff? Who knows? We're just gonna ride along with it and figure out what the Wheel of Fortune is going to bring for us, aren't we? I really like the card though. There's one. Someone isn't, like, really trying to concentrate on it. Someone isn't thinking about moving forward right now. Might be the last thing someone wants to think about is the future. You know, someone doesn't want to communicate about moving on. Someone doesn't want to communicate about, like, what's coming next. We got the Seven of Swords up here. Someone might be sneaking off, sneaking away, but they still got some shit behind them. They're lugging around. Even if they got away with it, they still got some guilt they're carrying along with them some burden some weight a block that is in the back behind them that they will always follow them that's a want and wish right there i feel like some of you are bothered by something king of swords Someone might be calling it as they see it. Someone might be speaking their truth. Someone might be like, just plain out be looking for the trail. Could be you, Aquarius. Could be Libra. Could be Gemini. But somebody is definitely speaking some truth about some baggage they're carrying around with them with the Seven of Swords. That guilty conscience. That sneaky nature. Maybe even a betrayal for the most part. Doing something behind somebody's back. Then we got the Seven of Swords, or Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands reversed down here in the obstacles and challenges, because this is wishes and wants, right? Like, you want to talk, I feel like somebody wants to talk about what's bugging them. And they feel like giving up, but that is not what the wheel wants you to do. <laughs> like, there, there is no giving up in this. Like, somewhat, like, that's the challenge is, like, someone wants to be done and, like, that's not happening. That's not going to cause anything to move forward. Because, like, yeah, someone wants to s just not even worry about it at all. Look at this. Just both of them. Just like, no, I, I don't want to deal with it. I've given up. And then the wheel says, ha ha, bitch, that's what you think we just got started. Like, I feel like someone really wants to talk about what's making their conscience feel so guilty. I feel like someone's carrying around a really guilty conscience and they want to just talk to somebody. Almost. Someone wants to come out with the truth. 
Don't know if they will though or not. That's up to them, really. It's telling me probabilities. Yeah, um, four of swords here. Someone doesn't want to think about something, just like they are here. And what are they not thinking about? Whatever options that look bad to them. Someone isn't trying to think about what isn't good for them. Someone probably doesn't even want to think about these options. Or maybe they feel like these options weren't worth their time. They're just like, no, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Fuck that. Then there's an offer that is delayed and not coming forward. In the catalyst as well as the final result. Yeah, that's not a good idea. That's actually kind of enabling behaviors. That's not really producing anything fruitful. Just hanging on to this offer without offering anything back. You know? We have the King of Cups reversed over here. What is the ending theme with him? Yeah, um, not a lot of closure. That's why you're keeping yourself. Like, that's, like, that's how I feel. Like, there's no closure to, like, the security or gaining of anything. Like, it, it just was incomplete, but it's done. That's how I feel with this one. And that's why you're just keeping to yourself about it for the most part. People who are dealing with this person in group one. Are any advice cards for group one, please? Ooh. Um, happiness just from walking away, but you you're going to recover from the heartbreak as well, so that's pretty good. Like, I mean, there's a lot of heartbreak involved with wanting to come out with your guilty conscience and feel like giving up is like the easy thing to do, but fate isn't going to allow that to happen, it appears. And it looks like you might just get your strength back, group one. So, yay! That actually wasn't too bad. Like, there, like there's still this lack of, in of incompletion, even though everything's done and set it over with, and you'll still be just kind of keep into yourself for a while, but I, I feel like you're going to find your happiness and you might have recovery from this and you'll be able to be who you feel like again. Um, you might fall out of control though. Just putting that out there. Alright, now we go to group twos. Group two, are you ready? Yes, we are! Yay! There might be ice cream if you're good. Really? No, because I can't get you ice cream. There's too many of you. But... I like mint pistachio, so get me one. Anyway, group two, it is your turn. Let's shuffle these up and then we'll get started. I only shuffle them like this because my hands are too small to actually like get the cards the way I need to. And these are really long and flimsy and I don't want to damage them too quickly. Oh! King Cups showed up again. He's reversed still. Just popping up and say, Hi, how are you? I don't care. <laughs> okay, I'll start with you. No whammies. King of Wands. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Someone is very much feeling in their power and exercising it justly. Three of Pentacles. Ten of Swords reversed. Mm. The Hierophant reversed. King of Swords reversed. The Sun reversed. Beginning theme. Nine of Wands keeping your defenses up. Putting those posts up. Hurling them at birds. <laughs> if you so choose, because birds are like deer. Just creepy. Little night stalkers. If they had teeth, they'd be even creepier. I actually knew somebody who's terrified of fucking deer. Like I, like I used to work at a gas station, and I used to lock her in whenever she saw a deer. I just be like, oh, "There's a deer," and then she just like be freaking out. It was horrible to do, but it was like, oh my god, like, oh well. Who there summons me on my voice box thingy? Nobody I know. Oh, today's Brenda's birthday. Ooh. Okay. Group two. We begin with you. Oh my god. And all my cards nearly fell on the floor. Well, we got the first two. Ah! Justice! There you are. Justice! 
and judgment reversed. Let's look at these real quick, okay? So, we have King of Wands right here. Sag, Leo, Aries, right? Could be any of them. Someone who's being very disciplined, strict, yet fair in their regard and ruling. And this could be Libra right here. So, he might be being fair and that might be a very karmatic thing. It's like, this is good karma right here, this person. Below that is the high in reverse where someone needs to possibly learn something about a bad judgment call, like bad idea. One of the three pentacles over here where someone's wanting to get balance as the king of swords. Once again, someone wants truth with his balance. Yet, yeah, he's down here keeping his mouth shut and having a nasty attitude. Why is he down here having a nasty attitude? Could be you, Aquarius. You might be trying to balance yourself to become the king of swords again. Yeah, but you're not going to change your ways. You're not changing your fucking ways for anybody. But Scorpio, death reversed, right? Like, you got a nasty attitude because you know things aren't going to change. And now you're trying to find balance to fix yourself so you can be king of swords upright again. Wow, what an interesting... <laughs> huh. Someone wants to find balance with the King of Swords, and yet the King of Swords is not changing from his asshole nature. Damn, Group 2. Let's see. Ten of Swords and the fears and rejections. Someone feeling like they're being betrayed right before their eyes. Someone's taking their own self-betrayal and, like, using it to make someone else feel like shit. You know, taking your problems out on someone else. Could be the King of Wands. He's looking back on all this. Could be a fear involved with him. Maybe he's the one doing it. Maybe you're doing it to him. Maybe you're worried he's going to do it again. Maybe you're reliving this betrayal with him in your head and you're afraid it's going to happen again. That could be an option too. Then with the Sun of Earth, someone is losing a little bit of their happiness, the catalyst, as well as the final result, which is causing all of this. And they're kind of stuck in their head about it still. They started out stuck and they still feel stuck. They feel like they are bound by their thoughts and their words. And over here is the ending theme for Of Pentacles. Someone's trying to remain grounded and are putting up barriers of protection for themselves in order to remain grounded. Hmm. Like... Like, someone wants to rule, but they want to rule fairly. But they, but I also feel like they can't do that while they're still in their hard ways. The problem is that it's hard to change who you are. Yeah. Someone isn't being completely fruitful and honest about how they feel about things. Someone's actually keeping that hidden with the High Priestess. She sees all, she knows all, she can say all, but she ain't saying nothing. She keeps her mouth shut. She ain't no snitch. Right? Just like Mama taught us. And, like, she ain't snitching about, like, these feelings. She ain't snitching about what she knows, what she sees, what she thinks, what she feels. Um, and over here, someone's going to be teaching the lesson. Someone's going to be able to establish themselves in order to end up becoming the teacher with the Hierophant. Possibly Taurus or Taurus energy. Maybe this situation where someone's trying to balance themselves. While also realizing you're really not going to change too much from who they are as an asshole. Because <laughs> that's what I'm kind of getting here. It's like someone knows they're an asshole, but they're trying to balance themselves off so they could be an asshole at appropriate times. And I think that's what's going to be learned here in order for them to feel like they're a teacher again. I like how that came out. I hope you guys do too, because I think that came out well. And here we got Queen of Wands partnership right here. Aww. Like, oh, this is actually kind of cute. Like, someone wants to change so they could be with their person again. That's what it, that that kind of gave me that kind of vibe. Where since she's here too, it's just kind of like, oh, I just want to be back in your arms again. 
Well, the other person was like, I really don't care. Um, I don't know. Like, this is like kind of like, this is adorable, but the other one was kind of like, ah, kind of iffy. I don't know. But I, I, I do like happy endings. And I feel like someone's going to look into the future and establish themselves a little bit better. Be able to be regal like they always are, present themselves beautifully. Because, you know, that's what the queen of uh, wands is. Sagittarius or Aries. But there's definitely going to be somebody here who is going to look all so nicely in the end. But that's yours, Aquarius. I'll see you guys later. <coughs> Bye-bye. Excuse me.